Hi, this is Steve. I am Bob. This is Jay. And we are Alpha Quadrant 6, a science fiction review show. And in this episode, we are reviewing the television series Severance. Uh, we're going to do. We're going to start with a spoiler-free review, just some broad brushstroke uh, review, and then we'll give you a warning before we get into the spoilers. So, um, you, I'm going to give you the premise, the premise of the show, because you pretty much learn this right away, and it's in the title of the thing. the The, the essential idea is that a company has certain employees which get a a computer chip implanted in their brains. Uh, which separate their work per persona from their not at work persona, what they call their Audi and their Innie. The Innie is the person who's at work. And when you don't, you don't carry any memories from work to the outside and no memories from the outside to the inside, you know, the work persona. So it's, it's as if you are two different people, two completely separate sets of memory. So that means when you're at work, you get in an elevator to leave work, and then your next memory is coming down and going to work. Like there was zero time there's, passed. There's for you. zero downtime. Zero. Yeah. There's no downtime. You don't go to sleep. Nothing happens. You just go from one. So you are. That's horrific. So your perspective is you are at work a hundred percent of the time. No, that but, is your perspective. But the other version of that is you drive to work, you go in an elevator, and, and then, then you're going home. And then you're going home. Yeah. And then next you're going home. Yeah. Yeah. So I love. Much better than so it's great for the Audi. Sucks for the idiot. Yes, yeah. I loved this show. I thought th yeah. this was a this was a thriller. It's wonderful. The show, the the casting is fantastic. The mood that they found is fantastic. The writing. There wasn't one thing about this show I didn't like. I, I enjoyed every second of it. I thought that they they created a very interesting universe with a very interesting thing going on. Yeah, Severance is streaming on Apple TV. Um, so that's where that's, I think that's the only place where you could watch it. It's and now all the episodes have dropped. So I was watching it when they were dropping once a week. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of, you know, hard to wait. Now it's all there. So you could just binge it. Um, but yeah, and so I, I like it when you take a premise and of course all good writing does this. All any good series is going to do this, but you have a premise, but the show's not just about the premise. There's obviously plot lines happening within that premise. And then the the subplots, you know, or they, which turn into like the main plots of like it's not just about this idea. It's also what's happening to these characters. Why did they make the decision to be severed? You mm -hmm. know, to take that kind of a job. And there's also why is the company doing this? And there's you get these little breadcrumbs along the way of clearly there's something deeper going on here. Uh, and it's you know it's the the whole series is a bit of a slow burn. I will say that. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. Most thrillers are though. It takes time to set yes. that mood. But it, each it, episode I thought was enjoyable. It's yeah, never, I never well worth the wait. I never oh, got yeah. bored. No, it was just that you know it's again it's not like a thrill a minute every episode. It is this kind of a slow thinker kind of burn, which is great, and it sustained it. But then like there's a really big, big payoff at the end. Without like, a doubt. Yeah. So let's get right into the spoilers. All right, here. spoilers. All right, yeah. so I, I, you know, it's it's one of those situations like where do you begin? So yeah, when I finally realized what was actually going on, right? Mm. So you get the idea yeah. that you know there's a different person at work and everything, but you know then you they slowly show you like there's an implant, mm -hmm. and then then when they introduce the idea that there could be tension. You know, out. You know, like yeah. about this. Like, pe the, like the characters are, are. Some of them are struggling with the fact that they work for this company and that right. they're doing it, and then society is saying this might not be good. And then, but the the character that does it all for me is Hella. Yeah. When she when she tried to send a message to her Audi. Yeah. Like best like, message ever. The well, well, first of all, yeah, we learn that there is no communication between the from the innie to the Audi. Ever. Yeah. So the employee cannot communicate to their outside self. So why would that be? You would think they would be checking in with each other once a week or once a month or something. Yeah, everything cool with you? Everything going okay? Yeah, right? But the fact that they're not allowing, like you're not allowed to send any information to your Audi, and right there, that is that is sketch. That yeah. is really yep. sus, you know, that is weird. And right so, so yeah, so one, um, one of the characters, you know, Hella decides to fix that problem by sending an unmistakable message to her Audi by hanging herself in the elevator when she's transitioning from her Innie to her Audi. Yeah. She wanted her Audi to wake up 
just at the moment she was about to be strangled to death and know that her innie had done it to her. That's rage. Yeah. That's anger. Unbelievable. What it was such a, yeah. an impressively written and executed scene in the in the show, and it yeah. really lands hard. It it does. And now I I try to think what would that be like. Imagine you're going to work, you know, going down the elevator, and then the next moment you're going to be going up the elevator, right? Because you're the because you you're are. the Audi. Next thing you know, you're choking and you're near death. So I mean, first off, the the message the yeah. things, the ending to the Audi is unmistakable. But then I'm thinking, what about afterwards? Every time she went down that elevator, every other subsequent day, she's going. She's thinking, holy shit, am I going to wake up and be choking again and, and dying yeah. again? Or you what know? else? Is she going to start mutilating herself? Right. You know, right. I, maybe I'll be missing a finger. You yeah. know, or like. So that's a that's a mind then, fuck, that company, big time. That company, like we don't, you know, even when you see this entire series, you still you don't really know what's going on. Like nothing yeah. at all even makes sense. Like they're they're having the, the thing about how intrigued. So the thing is, to me, like I'm watching all of this, I'm thinking, so what's her Audi? Because we're watching the whole show is from the perspective. Most of it is from the perspective of the innies. We really only get to see at least early on in the series the, the Audi, Audi perspective of like the, the main, main character. character. Yeah. Yep. Um, it, but so she did get a message to her Audi. I guess they allowed, you know, like for whatever to, she's like, I want to quit. I don't want to do this anymore. And her Audi sent a message back basically saying, fuck you. you saying, know, basically wait, said, saying you're not a person. Yeah, yeah, you're right. right. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're not, you're not a person. I don't have to listen to you. Just just do your work and shut up. Yeah. That's when she tried to kill herself. Yeah. Um, and the and anxiety. Like, so I, you don't have, you guys don't have anxiety like I do. Yeah. I, I have anxiety, right? And sometimes it, it actually enhances TV shows. I have to be honest with you because it can trigger I wish it. I had anxiety. And of, of course, this no, you don't. Of course, <laughs> this move, this TV show, so exquisitely hoax that this thing because there's the claustrophobia thing. Yeah, crank to ten because they think about it, those innies. They don't. They never see the outside. Right. They never see sunlight. They don't get laid. Well, they could. They could. They could, but it's not happening. Yeah, in it's that not night. happening. Though. It's You're not right. happening. That but, but I thought about that. Like, is any of them like getting a little side action? How about there? this? Like, a good dinner, really good dinner. Yeah, they, they, well, they, you they get have lunch. Waffles. They taught you them with your, waffles. Yeah. And, oh, that's a special. That's a special holiday. But oh it's my basically God. lunch. But, the, but what's good about that whole plot line, though, is then it gets you wondering what's going on with her Audi that that wasn't enough to break the spell for her. Oh, yeah. You know, of course, we learned later on that she's working for the company. The That's perfect big. answer. It wow. Made, it made perfect wow. answer. Was, her father. Her father was started the whole thing. I was thinking to myself, how are they going to explain that? Yeah, but like, they did. But they did perfectly. It was wonderful. So here's something, though. Here's something that I thought of, though. She, we know that at the end, spoiler, that she is like the daughter of the, yeah, of yeah. the, the demigod yeah, that, that. that started this, right? <laughs> But, but yes, I'm just, that's the premise. Yeah. But now where was I going to go with this? She just totally took, <laughs> it, out of my, took it out of my head. Um, so. She has red hair. She has red hair. Uh, well, I can right. her. Okay. So this, is, this is the most, the most imper important innie in the company. This is the innie, right? Mm -hmm. And so, so she comes down. This is her first day, right? She wakes up. She's sprawled out on the table. She wakes up like, holy crap, what, what's going on? And they send a first timer. To, to do the intake and give the questions? No. You send like the boss, like mm -hmm. what's her name? Patricia or yeah, that was interesting. I guess they you figured, don't send a newbie to they, handle they, her. They That's didn't, didn't want to give her red carpet treatment because then it doesn't I know how about competent treatment. I mean Well, you know what was, I think though, Bob? I, it was a skeleton it is a mon a monumental skeleton crew. There was true. three people. It yeah. is. It's right? it really is like three people. Yeah, it's three it's people. Like, and we don't even know why yet. We don't understand. Like maybe they were like, this is a fail safe. Like nothing's gonna go wrong. Like it yeah, doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't she, matter she if the is guy a unique, doesn't do a unique Personality, hella, because she's like totally like. A but they've never been everything. faced. Bob, they've never been faced with any of that ever before, right? Well, they, they, and they, they. I get the feeling that they. She did that. They essentially put her there to prove that it works. So if they treated her, gave her special treatment, that would be defeat the purpose. Yeah, but but it's a special. It was a special scenario where the, where the boss who, knew, who who has experience is like gone. He quits. So now we you put a newbie in to do the yeah, first maybe. intake on the most important any. Yeah, maybe they super had no choice. Nitty. But the other maybe. angle to the to the show is the um, the corporate infantilization they do for the employees. Totally, right? Oh, man. oh my like, god! So man. It, people who, who live in corporate America kind of would would be familiar with this. <laughs> And but then it was like taken to such a ridiculous degree. Like you're embarrassed for everyone involved. You know what I mean? Like the yeah. idea that 
you know, you get these little rewards which are worthless, you know. Like a finger, the finger puzzle thing. Yeah, are you it, kidding you know, me? Yeah, it's just like. It, and, and what they're doing too, like it, it really did have a, a wonderful mirror to reality. Yeah. Because a lot of people feel like their jobs are just meaningless, yeah. right? They, they, look at the job that these guys had. Like, I, they I, don't know I, what they're doing. They don't even know what they're I doing. Bet, so don't I bet none of it means anything. Yeah. That's my, I'm really? putting my chips down on that. Well, what could it possibly mean? You know, like. like they're the, grouping numbers on the screen and throwing them away, but they're supposed to have some kind of feeling about it. And you, and you, but you wonder, is that real? Or are they just making it up? I just I think all know. of it is just, you know, they're like a. Self-induced? I just I don't think there's any any teeth. Well, it wouldn't any surprise me. I hope it. The I guy hope... feeding goats. Like, go ahead, come on. I mean, yeah. what, what, like, what possible meaning could that have? In reality? And there's a whole department rotating the paintings that are on the walls. Yeah, that's like the biggest department. Well, well, that was their cover, but they were they were three D printing things that were meaningless. They were yeah. they, they were three D printing a water can. Like, yeah. why, why would they have the, this gigantic <laughs> room of people printing water cans? The whole thing but, could just be a giant psychological experiment. Yeah. Well, I think I think it is. I think what they're doing because the, the the clencher of the entire series is when the the owner of the company who was weird as hell mm -hmm. like kind of like spacey out there you're like billionaire yeah. kind cult. of like it's a cult it's yeah. Not, yeah it's more of a cult than he a said like everybody's gonna get an innie yeah you know like yeah, yeah. we're giving this to the world like it's the best thing like oh, oh man. man right so in that moment you realize like this this TV show can go into a global posture, like you know, all of a sudden, mm -hmm. like the, the, it could explode in so many directions. Yeah, yeah. And also, how about applying it to non-work environments? I was thinking, oh, well, imagine if you did this for your gym. You walk into your gym, and your your gym persona, who doesn't really know anything about the, you know the the Audi, you know, uh, how what would that be like? Imagine if your life is going into the gym, and then you exit, and then you're going back into the gym. Or how about how about this one? Going to bed. Going to bed, you all of a sudden you're in bed you, and you're gonna go to sleep, and then you wake up, and then that's it, and that that's your entire well, Bob, existence. The, would you ever? When can, the company said everybody's like? gonna get one, the first thing that occurred to me was anything that you don't want to do, you make your innie do. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, because that's the ultimate execution of this. I don't want to cut the lawn. You get your innie to do it. Now, of course, that would go sideways because their innie would rebel and, and not, you know, they're in a controlled yeah. environment. But I think I, I suspect. That they're they're going to have a way to control them, to control the innies so they can't you know they're in lockdown. Um, now another very interesting thing that happened is when they did that at overtime. Yeah, the overtime. The, the overtime thing was brilliant. Well, that yeah. was that was the whole Be, because it sets up the, yeah. it sets up the second half of the series, which I yeah, thought yeah. was fantastic. So another another point I want to make: uh, Ben Stiller is involved with this. Um, and he directed, um, I think, about half the episodes. Oh, good for him! But he was involved in, in, great. in yeah. the beginning of it. You know, he was there, like when the uh, when the whole thing was coming to life and everything. He was a part of that. But you know, he really he's doing a fantastic job. Yeah, you know, you would yeah. Think, yeah. good you know, for him as a comedian. But he is a comedian writer as well. For him to do this type of thing, I'm very impressed with his work. Mm -hmm. So of course, the big the big reveal at the very end of the series, you know, because you we. There is this one character who, you know, is the um, like the healthcare worker, like the psychologist, right? Yes. She's there, and she's like this creepy, creepy character. I love the actress. She was in Dollhouse. You guys ever mm -hmm. seen Dollhouse? Mm -hmm. Actually, a similar kind of plot, but interestingly, but so she is like this again, like the most dystopian version of a of a therapist yeah, that you can man. imagine. Wow, and. You know, and, and later on, you start to realize that, oh, she's just another innie and she hates her life just as much as everybody else. Yeah. And then Bye. you learn that also the main character, Mark, Mark, he is he became an innie because his wife was killed and he wanted just a period of a time of his day when he didn't remember that his wife yeah. mm -hmm. was Sad. killed. Um, and the, but then we learn that the, psych, the psychologist is his wife. So what's going on there? They pulled her completely. They pulled into her, her. Yeah, like she and they killed her off. Killed off her Audi. Well, her, yeah. She never they, gets to become her she Audi. Faked, they fake the death of her Audi. Yeah. So and yeah, yeah, and that was the other huge part of the thriller part of this show yeah. was the intrusiveness of this company. Like, yeah. you know, the 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 manager was living next door to to yes. Mark. And fully into his life, like yes. like completely like riding on going him in, and checking going his, house, his which, house, which supports the psychological experiment. Yeah, and they wanted to monitor in any in and Audi and see how everything was yeah. going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it it, it ruffles yeah. your feathers in a big way. Um, it's, it, it gets all the big brother nanny state authoritarian. You know, overwhelming corporate micromanaging, yeah, all of those things. All of it. it yeah, it pushes all of those buttons, and you just you totally get 
why they want to rebel. You want to be there rebelling with them. Yeah. And to completely totally. succeed. Oh, yeah. You want to fight their fight. When yeah. Mark's friend, you know, who gets out, and this was in, earlier in, yeah. in the, the series, when you, you, know, you realize that there's a big problem here, yeah. you know, but he doesn't really tell him a lot. And he's going through this, like, emotional thing because yeah. his Innie and his Audi become one again. So he's getting weird flashbacks and he's having all sorts of problems and everything. But when when that drops and you see Mark in a way like relating to him, yeah. like he, he takes him in and he's like, oh, OK, so we were friends. And like he gives him that that benefit of the doubt. And then mm -hmm. the whole thing get, starts to re, Mark starts to realize there's a big problem here. And then you see how intrusive the company is, is mm -hmm. with him. Anybody that worked in corporate America that that had a mild yeah. to a bad experience. And I've been there. We you know, most that. people yeah, are. Yeah. That this movie, this show is, is genius because it, it pushes those buttons. Like you're getting pissed off because you you have been trapped in that mousetrap. Now, what I what I like best about this series is just the fact that it's different. Yeah, you know, it's so just creative. different. Yeah, it's creative. It's uh, so I've never seen anything like it. I mean, I think there's a lot of great TV out there. You know, we're kind of living in the golden age of television in a lot of ways, but there's also a lot of crap out there. You got to sort of get through. And even the, a lot of the good series are still, they're still always trying to copy things that were successful previously. Mm -hmm. That's why when something- Low risk. I know, and it doesn't make any sense to me. When you look at all of the shows that are really breakout hits, they have one thing in common, and that is that they're different. And so it makes no sense for studios to try to replicate that by doing the same thing. Like, mm -hmm. no, you're, you're not replicating the one thing that people really <laughs> liked about it, which is that it was new and different. You can't yep. make a, make it new and different again. Steve, some production houses take the risk and they yeah. lean into it, and some some people don't want to invest money but, into something that they don't feel. But is I it. love it when you know when you take a risk, you do something completely different, and it works. That's an A plus that's in my book. Gold. That's yeah, that's gold. And that's what I like. What I loved most about Severance, it was completely different. It wasn't. A, I didn't feel like it was a retread of anything I've watched previously yeah. to be honest with you so, so we are recommending guys yeah watch, highly recommending watch yeah. this show um if you watched it and you want to give us your comments you can go to alpha quadrant six.com that's alpha quadrant and number six.com you can also go to our facebook page and we have a patreon guys we really appreciate you, the live audience that's watching this show and you guys uh sticking with us so far we have one more episode coming at you very soon and we'll see you next week